before is I'll give you an example. The principal level, and I hear my principals talk about this, and we should be able to allow them to choose their team that'll turn our middle schools around. Because basically what I, my experience is previous years, you know, those schools that have perhaps the greatest challenge, whoever gets transitioned or consolidated winds up in the low performing schools. You take them whether you like them or not and the beat keeps going. And that's not new today, it was part of last year and in the years before. So until this district say, look, if you're gonna work at OUSD, you have to be effective or you have no business at OUSD. All right, so we can't we can continue to, your teacher didn't work out in Montero, well hey, I'll send them down to United for Success and hopefully nobody knows or recognizes what's going on. And see, I think what I'm looking for is some real bold direction from you, and I know it's a contractual issue, but you gotta take it head on. If the instructor, the instructor I believe should be evaluated 50% in terms of how well the kids did in class. The other 50% is up to you and your leadership to evaluate on the observation. Uh, but those are the kind of things that if public education in Oakland is gonna stay competitive with the Lighthouse Charter Schools and stay competitive with the other private schools because they have a lot of freedom, they're, you know, they're, 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 they're a lot of flexibility, they're quick in terms of their decisions. They don't have to get all this input and engagement to make anything happen. And so I, I, that's the kind of strategy that I, I would like to push OUSD towards. You're gonna get some pushback along some ways, but the pushback will only come from the adult world. It's not gonna come from the student, and certain from the parent, it's not gonna come from them as well. So I, I just hope that as we retune this, we establish the metrics, what, what, um, a director Smearman is calling for, why can't we say that, all right, in the 10th grade, 70% of our kids are gonna pass the Casey test, right? Why can't we say that in the eighth grade, 190% of the kids will have met the algebra requirement? But those are the kind of strategic, set it out there, uh, goals that I'm looking for. But, and I appreciate your work though, and I think you'll get us there. Thanks. Uh, this is just